Hello everyone and welcome back to 3D Scape. Today we're going to be making the canyon scene that you just saw in the intro. Uh, I'm going to walk you step by step through this process. This is a very beginner friendly tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, let's, get on with it. let's get on with it. Now I've opened Unreal Engine and I'm going to go to third person. I just start with third person template. It just uh, seems better for me because I can preview it at any time. And these are all the settings I keep. Specify file location and uh, change the name. And click create. So once the uh, engine loads, you will see that this is the level you come up, uh, this is the level you spawn in. And you can control it using WASD like any other PC game. You have to hold right click while doing so to move around. And if you want to preview the game, you can right click and click play from here. And you'll be able to play like a normal third person game. Now we don't want to start from here. We want to start with a blank level. So I'm going to go up here, file new level. I'm going to click on a basic level. It has already all the lighting and stuff done already a bunch of lights and stuff like that now i'm going to delete this and i'm going to add a landscape by going here selecting landscape and click enable edit layers and create so once you've created the landscape you can see we have a brush and we can use it to sculpt i'm going to leave it as it is now and i'm going back to selection mode now we can start adding some assets so go to quixel bridge and um, go to in the collections go to environment natural and limestone quarry and you can download any assets that you want. Make sure you download one material and some um, assets. I've downloaded these assets and this one. You can download any that you like. Make sure it's from like the same collection so they look good together. And once you're done downloading them, they'll be in your local. So when you uh, in the local uh, folder, you have to just go to these assets and you can click the blue arrow and it's going to export that to your scene. And make sure you download it in the nanite quality because that's the highest detail. So once we are here, I'm going to add material to this landscape i'm going to select the landscape content browser i'm going to go to uh, content and here you see a mega scans folder has appeared and i'll just go there surfaces and this gravel material i'm going to just click uh, click on the landscape select the material here and here where it says landscape material i'll just click on this so the material has been applied but you see there is a large amount of tiling and this is very irritating and again if you see the camera speed is too fast you can just go here in this arrow camera speed settings and reduce the speed so there's a lot of tiling i'm just gonna go to the material double click on it and here check the tiling option and i'm gonna reduce it to something to like 0 0.2 0 0.2 now you can't see as much tiling close by at least now let's go let's start adding some assets i go to the content browser go to mega scans and you see we have exported some 3D assets and these are the ones that I have downloaded. Instead of going into each um, folder and searching for the assets, you can just apply a filter by clicking on this and add a static mesh filter. So you see all your meshes right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this out and lay it one by one in front of me so that I know what I'm working with. Now, once this is done, I'm going to start laying out the assets. Um, you can hold Ctrl and L to change the sun position, so to make it less harsh lighting, you can do that. So I want to make a nice canyon-like scene, so I'm going to just scale up these things. Now, if you see, when I scale it, it scales in increments, like that. That's because the snapping is enabled for all rotation, location, and scale. So I'm going to disable the snapping so I can uh, scale it like with a nice fluid motion. And to duplicate, what I did there was I just selected it while dragging, I just held Alt, so it just duplicates. So this will be a nice entryway into our canyon. And hold W for uh, location E to rotate it and R to scale. Now for the floor. First, I'm going to add some uh, canyon assets to the background too. Yes, I'm, I'm making the canyon taller. Because nanite assets have so much detail, you can duplicate the same asset and place it again and again with slight variations in its position. And you won't really see the repetition or tiling or stuff like that.
Now let's decorate the floor with some assets. I'm gonna take all the floor assets, put them down here. Sometimes these textures will be glitched out. That's all right, not a problem. You just have to reload the engine once, restart the engine and it'll all be gone. I'll do that after I place all these assets. So the way I'm going to start this is I'm just going to take these assets and I'm going to just make a small group of them together. Something like that. Now I'm going to select all three of these and use this as one asset. Now I can select all of them and I have this nice collection of assets which I can use. I'm just going to drag and drop this a bunch of times on the floor. Now I'm going to restart the engine. So I restarted the engine. I just have to go to the content browser and open up the new level. And all the assets are perfect. I can just see some sort of um, gaps between these assets and I'm just gonna fix these. So now that's all done, I'm going to, uh, this is the time where you change the atmosphere to make it ultra realistic. This is where most of your work gets done, but I'm going to use a very simple setup. I'm going to go to the sky atmosphere and increase these two sliders. This looks good. Now I'm going to go to create and visual effects and post process volume because if you see if i look somewhere down here the exposure kind of changes i don't know if i can show it properly but we don't want that to happen so i'm going to click the post process volume and i'm going to click unbound so that its effects are um, seen across the entire level i'm going to type exposure and select exposure compensation and these two i'm going to set them both to one looks a little bit dark now so i'm going to increase this Yes. Now hold Ctrl L to find a very good position for your son. This looks good. Now it's time to add a camera so you can get a good nice screenshot. So I'm going to go here, cinematic, sign cinematic. And I'm going to position the camera. And reduce the camera speed so I can get much more precise moments. But before that, I am going to adjust some settings. Change the film back to 169 DSLR. Set the focal length to 50 and crop it at 239, the aspect ratio where most movies are shot. And then once you're done, we can go here to the three dots. Increase the screen percentage to 200. Make sure you don't get any warnings. And then take a high resolution screenshot. I'm going to multiply this by two. If I, if I multiply this by two, it'll double the resolution. Then you can click capture. And it would have been saved over here. So that's how you make this nice canyon, realistic canyon scene in Unreal Engine. If you like this video, please give this video a like, subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.